Greetings my fellow designers and designerettes. Today we're bringing you a tutorial on how I created the typography for my digital painting intergalactic funk. So let's go ahead and get things started. Fire up your illustrator and I'm using version CS5 but I think most of these techniques should work on most of the most of the versions of Illustrator down to CS. I'm not positive about that, but I believe the you should be fine with whatever version you're working with. Uh, the font that I'm using is called Lancet, and my settings are 72 point font size, and I've got the tracking at minus 30. You can adjust those according to your personal taste. So the first thing we want to do after you type out your word Let's go ahead and curtain this word out to give the spacing a little bit more even. And the way you do that is you hold your alt and arrow, left and right arrow keys to adjust it. So I like to curtain out my words whenever I can, whenever it looks a little bit off. I know the, I notice that a lot of designers don't like to do that. It's kind of an afterthought, but I think kerning makes your design just look a little bit more professional. Okay, so after you kerned it out to the way you like, let's go ahead and make this word an object. So what you'll want to do is go up to Type, Create Outlines. And that turns your, your word into a vector object that you can transform. And uh, as you see, I'm using a PC, so when I'm referring to my hotkeys, uh, I'm going to go with the, the terms like Control and Alt. And if you're using a Mac, just make your adjustments accordingly. So the first thing we want to do here is create a border around this word. So you do that by selecting your object and then going to Object path offset path and the first setting is going to be 1.5 points and I keep my settings at points rather than inches or pixels it just makes makes the settings a little bit easier so you can preview this if you want to see how it's gonna look and that's good right there uh, keep your miter limit at 4 and click OK and now you see that your word has gotten a little bit fatter um, but your original word is still in the center. And what I like to do is I like to make this a different color to make this different from your original word. And then I also like to go to my Pathfinder palette here and click Unite and that brings it all into one object on its own. And you'll notice that it did this right here. So the way to correct that is go to object, arrange, send to back. You can also use your hotkeys, control, shift, left bracket. Okay, so sometimes it groups the entire group together, um, but we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is ungroup everything so that the black and orange are separate objects. So let's go ahead and go to object, ungroup and your hotkeys will be shift control G and all the orange is selected on its own and each of the black one is is different now but let's go ahead and and group those together so the easiest way to do it is select one of your letters your black letters and then go to select same fill color and that'll select all the same black colored letters and you can go ahead and group these together or click unite um, let's go go ahead and go with unite all right so now that we got that taken care of let's go ahead and make another outline select your orange your orange letter and we're going to go ahead and go to your offset path again so go to object path Offset path. This time put your setting at three points. 
You can preview it if you like. Click OK. And let's go ahead and turn that into a different color also, just to uh, keep it separate from the orange, orange outline. And we'll use this green color. And let's go ahead and unite that. And as you see, it did the same thing as it did the first time. So go ahead and set it to back. Object, arrange, send to back. And let's create our final outline. Uh, looks like it grouped everything together again. So let's go ahead and ungroup that. Object, ungroup. And then select your outermost portion of the word here. And go to object, path, offset path, three points again. Click OK. And we'll give that a different color. And we'll click unite. OK, so now we got all our offset paths ready. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and give this some, uh, some bling to it. So select your inner part of the word, which is the black, black letters. And we'll give this gradient this color here. Actually, let's get, give it this one here. And as you'll see, it gave each separate letter its own gradient, but I want to give it a gradient as a whole object. So go ahead and select your gradient tool and then just go straight down. And that seems to work pretty good. By the way, I have all my gradients preset already from my uh, last, last time I did it. So keep that in mind, but you can choose your own colors, of course, and make it work the way you want. And so now that we've got that set, let's go ahead and give this inside portion a kind of a chrome look or, or a shiny look. So what we're gonna do is copy this object and instead of just clicking and dragging it and holding Alt, what I like to do is use my Shift key and arrow key at the same time. So click Shift, Alt, and your down arrow. Click it one time. Now let go of your Alt key, keep holding your Shift key, and click your arrow down key. Just keep doing this. What this does is it keeps, it moves it down in increments of 10 pixels. And that way when you bring it back up, it'll put it back in the exact spot where it's supposed to be. Um, so that seems to work out really well for me. So what we'll do here is we're gonna create a shape and then we're going to use that to uh, create the bottom portion of this word and give it a different color than this original one here. So let's go ahead and use our pen tool. Pen tool, click it. I'm using the shortcut keys. So Go just a little bit outside the word here. Click here and click right about here towards the center. And then Bring it out about that much to give it a little curvy shape. Let go and then go ahead and go, go a little bit outside here too and then line it up with your original points and just click it once and then you'll have this curved shape. Let's go ahead and complete this object using your guides here. Go about right there and use your intersect guides to make a solid object here. Let's go ahead and use our direct our selection tool here. And I like to give this just one solid color. And so what we're going to do is bring this object over to this word and then trim out the top portion of it. Before you do that though, let's turn this into a compound path. So you go to object, compound path, make. So let's bring this down here to about where we want it. And that should probably be, be good right there. Select both of these objects. Go to your Pathfinder palette. 
go to minus front. And there is your bottom portion of the word. Now let's give that a different gradient. And select your gradient tool. And then kind of adjust it to the way you like here. I like to hold the shift key to make it straight. And go a little bit lower. And that should be good right there. Go ahead and select it again. And then use your shift key and your up arrow key. And go up and until you get it to exactly where it's supposed to go. Okay, cool. We're almost done here. Now let's go ahead and zoom in to select the orange part here. Okay, now we got the orange selected, but as you can see, it only selected uh, part of it. And if you want to select the rest, you can either hold your shift key and select each individual orange one, but sometimes you can select the wrong one. So what I like to do is select one of the orange colored objects and then go again to select same fill color and that selects all the the similar colored objects and let's go ahead and either group them together or go to your pathfinder and unite turn it into one object and after you do that let's go ahead and go to our gradient swatch and go to your gradient tool and then go down again and we are done if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to ask thank you for watching this tutorial and for subscribing have a good day my friends